Welcome to History Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Organic chemist explored connection between free radicals and aging. Americans are asking AI, should I get back with my ex? Joe Christopher, an original Met who was a Mason in 64, dies at 88. Floorboards, possibly, trodden by Shakespeare, are found in England. Colette and Justin review, the colonized speak up. Organic chemist explored connection between free radicals and aging. The Globe and Mail. Dr. Keith Ingold, an influential figure in organic chemistry, has died at the age of 94. During his research, he highlighted the role that free radicals play in the body. These molecules are highly reactive and can cause damage to other molecules. Ingold showed that free radicals can lead to everything from cancer to wrinkles. His investigation into oxidation during the aging process confirmed vitamin E as an antioxidant that can counteract free radicals. Ingold's understanding of how free radicals damage the human body was a result of his earlier work in the petroleum industry, which involved neutralizing free radicals to increase the longevity of engine oils. He later worked at the National Research Council in Ottawa. Ingold wrote over 500 scientific papers and received six honorary university degrees, among other awards. Americans are asking AI, should I get back with my ex? Wall Street Journal. Texts from my ex is a new app that uses artificial intelligence, AI, to analyze chat history between two people and rate their compatibility. The app, which currently analyses text but not images or audio files, has attracted 30,000 users since its launch in July. Other services aimed at helping people find love include Riz and Your Move, which generate messages for users to send to potential partners, and Elate, which includes an AI dating coach to provide advice and answer questions. Joe Christopher, an original Met who was a Mason in 64, dies at 88. New York Times. Joe Christopher, a former baseball player who was part of the New York Mets team that won the World Series in 1969, has died at the age of 88. Christopher played for the Mets from 1962 to 1965 and was with the team during their early years when they were known as the Amazing Mets and struggled to build a successful team. He is survived by his five daughters and three sons. Floorboards, possibly, trodden by Shakespeare, are found in England. New York Times. Experts have discovered timber boards dating back to the early 15th century at St. George's Guildhall in Kings Lynn, England, beneath layers of flooring. The Guildhall's first recorded performance was in 1445, and it is believed that Shakespeare performed there in 1593. However, some experts have cast doubt on the significance of the discovery, noting that it is not certain that Shakespeare touched the boards. Colette and Justin Review, The Colonized Speak Up, New York Times. In the film Colette and Justin, directed by Alain Cassanda, the filmmaker explores the history of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the role his grandfather played in the country's path toward independence in 1960. The film combines interviews with Cassanda's grandparents and archival footage to reveal the complexities of colonization and its impact on the Congolese people. It also addresses the divisions created by the Belgian government and the struggle for independence. The film is both intimate and political, shedding light on the wounds of colonization and offering a sense of healing. Lizard People, The Illuminati and the CIA, How Conspiracy Theories Thrive on Fear. ABC. Conspiracy theories are not a new phenomenon, but their accessibility has been accelerated by social media. Anxiety, paranoia, loneliness, and a desire for control in uncertain circumstances contribute to their proliferation. In the United States, conspiracy theories can be traced back to the country's birth, with colonists during the War of Independence believing that the conflict was secretly orchestrated by the French. Conspiracy theories are often rooted in fear, such as the fear of communism leading to the formation of the CIA and the FBI. The spread of conspiracy theories is not limited to the US, with examples found in ancient Rome and medieval Europe. Researchers have theorized about the type of person who is more likely to believe in conspiracy theories, but no one is entirely immune. Conspiracy theories provide a sense of order and control in uncertain times, offering an explanation for events that may otherwise seem chaotic and random. In recent times, conspiracy theories have become more prevalent, with more than half of the American population believed to believe in some sort of conspiracy theory. Social media platforms have a responsibility to do more to stop the spread of conspiracy theories, including deplatforming prominent figures who share misinformation. New evidence that ancient footprints push back human arrival in North America. New York Times. Researchers studying ancient footprints found in White Sands National Park in New Mexico have used additional methods to determine their age. The footprints suggest that humans could have made them as early as 21,000 to 23,000 years ago, making them some of the oldest evidence of people in the Americas. 
The findings have sparked excitement and skepticism, with calls for additional tests to back up the claims. The latest study used carbon isotope analysis of ancient pollen from terrestrial plants and optically stimulated luminescence to determine the age of the tracks. If you do something remarkable in your life you might get a plaque. The Sydney Morning Herald. The UK government has extended the Blue Plaque Scheme, which recognizes figures who have helped shape local history, to towns and cities across England. The scheme encourages communities to research their local area and nominate figures for plaques. The government hopes the plaques will increase awareness of local history, boost pride in the area and attract new visitors. The scheme has been a London-only phenomenon for the past 150 years, but the government wanted to apply the scheme across the country to highlight diverse aspects of local heritage. Gordon Jameson, soldier who survived forced labor on the Death Railway in Burma, obituary. Telegraph. Gordon Jameson, one of the last survivors of the Death Railway in Burma, has died at the age of 102. Jameson enlisted as a private soldier in July 1940 and joined the 226th Australian Infantry Battalion. He saw action defending the mainland of Malaya until the British commander of Singapore surrendered in February 1942. He spent the next three and a half years as a prisoner of war, enduring harsh conditions and forced labor. After his release, Jameson went on to start his own businesses and was an advocate for fellow prisoners of war. He is survived by his three children. Broken guardrails for AI systems lead to push for new safety measures. Financial Times. Leading AI companies are developing AI constitutions as they seek to prevent any potential abuses of the technology. The constitutions outline a set of values and principles that AI models must adhere to, aiming to ensure that AI systems align with positive traits such as honesty, respect, and tolerance. The goal is to enable AI to learn from these principles and regulate its behavior without significant human intervention. Developing AI constitutions is seen as a way to make the rules governing AI more transparent and explicit. It would also allow users to understand the principles guiding AI systems and to challenge the system if it fails to adhere to those principles. Companies are experimenting with different methods to ensure that AI systems are ethical and safe. For example, OpenAI has employed a team of 50 academics and experts to test the limits of its GPT-4 model, while Google DeepMind and Anthropic are working on developing constitutions for their AI systems. However, challenges remain in developing effective AI guardrails, including ensuring that the rules are flexible and adaptable and that AI models can be effectively evaluated. And that's a wrap for today's news. We explored a range of topics, from the connection between free radicals and aging to the rise of conspiracy theories on social media. We also learned about a new app that uses AI to analyze chat history and rate compatibility, and the discovery of possible floorboards trodden by Shakespeare in England. We delved into the history of the Democratic Republic of Congo through the film Colette and Justin and celebrated the extension of the Blue Plaques scheme in the UK. On a somber note, we mourned the loss of Dr. Keith Ingold, Joe Christopher, and Gordon Jameson, individuals who made significant contributions in their respective fields. Now, let's dive into the analysis. Dr. Ingold's research on free radicals sheds light on the aging process and the role of antioxidants. It's fascinating to see how his work in the petroleum industry led to breakthroughs in understanding the human body. As for the AI matchmaking app, Texts from My Ex, it's both intriguing and amusing. Who knew AI could analyze chat history to determine compatibility? Maybe it's time to ask AI for relationship advice. On a more serious note, the film Colette and Justin offers a powerful exploration of the impact of colonization and the struggle for independence. It's a reminder of the wounds that colonization has left on communities and the healing that is still needed. And speaking of wounds, conspiracy theories seem to be thriving in today's uncertain times. Whether it's anxiety, fear, or a desire for control, these theories offer a sense of order and explanation. However, it's crucial for social media platforms to take responsibility and curb the spread of misinformation. In other news, the discovery of possible floorboards touched by Shakespeare adds an exciting layer to the history of St. George's Guildhall. While some experts doubt the significance, it's still a thrilling find for Shakespeare enthusiasts. And let's not forget the extension of the Blue Plaque scheme, recognizing figures who have shaped local history. It's a wonderful initiative to promote local heritage and pride. Finally, we remember the remarkable lives of Dr. Ingold, Joe Christopher, and Gordon Jameson. Each made unique contributions in their fields, leaving a lasting impact. Their stories serve as a reminder to live remarkable lives and leave a mark on the world. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on today's news? Have you ever believed in a conspiracy theory? Would you trust AI to analyze your chat history for compatibility? 
join the discussion and share your views. Remember, the world is full of surprises, so let's keep exploring together in the fascinating realm of six degrees. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.